What the hell is this place? What's this? Private invitation? Is it a crossword puzzle? Agamemnon. Prometheus. I don't see any, so I see Prospero right here, but I don't see another P. So I'm wondering if maybe that, oh, oh, that was it. So you needed to get, you needed to find whatever word was actually in there. That was a weird one. <clears throat> This is cool. I feel like it would be like this. Maybe. You think it's higher up? I don't know if they la- Oh, they do latch in place. Okay. Well, there we go. I feel like this isn't gonna go anywhere. Oh, it does go there. Ooh, this was cool. I definitely was like, there's no way this fits together, but it is. Oh God. I hate this. I hate it so. Oh, did they need to do the teeth falling out? Why'd they do that? Also, for some reason, I looked at my light and not whenever I talked right there, I looked at my light instead of the camera and I don't know why. Phil. Indeterminate day, 9.30 p.m. Another nightmare. What the hell's wrong with... Oh, by the way, guys, I don't know if you can tell with my voice. I'm still sick, and it's not going away, and it sucks. God, this is... This is like five days now? At least it was just a sore throat at the beginning, and then this weekend it turned into, like, snotty, gross cold. Um, what the hell's wrong with me? I no longer know if I'm sleeping. These shadows that stalk me in my dreams feel like they're trying to show me something. Point me to a specific path. But what does it all mean? Shit. My brain's about to melt down. Eighty-five percent of users achieve their daily goal. You can still do it. Good for them. God, delete that if you're not walking, delete the app. Stop getting alerts from it. Just delete it. Is it an alarm? It's not an alarm, it's just an a hole, I think. Is it night already? <sighs> not like it matters. I ran out of food. Unless Noel brings me some supplies tomorrow, I'll die here. I'm freezing. I want the stupid cold wave end. I need to warm up the room. Turn that heater on, boy. Let that I love the way that lights up. It's so nice. It's very satisfying. Uh, much bet. <laughs> oh, come on. It ran out of gas, of course. Oh, hey, a note. What's this? A note? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. You're just not... You are not just as shitty as them. It's just that I feel very lonely and overwhelmed, but I love you, Piper. Thanks, Piper, for the note. That's nice. I mean, he is, sh he is. It's not that he's shitty. He's going through something, you know? But, like, I don't know. It's tough. Everyone kind of has got shit going on right now in this story, and it sucks. Thanks for the apology, no, sis. I know it sucks living in this house, but I'm here for you no matter what. No matter what, huh? Go back to your coffin, Phil's ghosts. I'm tired. Sure, good night. I like the way she talks. That's. It's funny. What should I do now? <gasps> Fucking power go out? Oh, shit. Again? Where's the flashlight, Rose? Looks like a blackout.
Indeed, the town is pitch dark. The electrical station hasn't been updated since World War II. There's no way it can withstand a cold wave like this. Seriously, Tim? What, dude? Uh, Tim's gotta fill up the gas, you know? It doesn't matter what weather it is, he's got gas that needs to be filled up, you know? That actually got me a little bit. That <laughs> actually... Okay, I said a little bit, it kinda got me a lot. Don't, 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 don't make fun of me. Uh, yikes. Got candles going in there. God, my nose is running. Hold on. <gasps> Holy shit. What the hell? What the fuck? What's happening? <gasps> no, another nightmare. Dude, turn off your alarm. Noel. Oh, are we playing as Noel? Wednesday. 8 a.m. <laughs> Look how bright and nice her room is. That's cute. Today's my day. <laughs> oh, a little dance. Hey, don't worry about it. Everyone gets zits, I think. Most people. Oh, it's her birthday. It's her birthday. Ooh. I hope it's not a voucher for a motherly hug. Why not? Orange juice? No pulp, just the way I like it. Hmm. That's it. That's all you have to hmm. say about the cupcake? Hmm. That coffee. That's weird to drink coffee and orange juice together. I feel like that's not. That wouldn't mix. My first caffeinated beverage. Like a grown up. Oh, it's your first one. Chocolate cupcake. Yum. Did you think I forgot? I got up early to bake a batch. Aw, oh, you're the best. Happy birthday, honey. Thanks, Mom. Any noticeable wrinkles? Still have a long way for that. Ah, <sighs> time flies. You were such a tiny little thing running between my legs, and now look at you. Oh no, cringy motherly talk in three seconds. Run, Noel. You can take the afternoon off and celebrate with your friends. Oh, and don't forget to open that envelope. I hope you like the contents. That's nice. <laughs> What's up, neighbor? Oh, it's Brian. Happy birthday. Brian, you remembered. Thank you. Was I the first one? Tell me I was. Yeah, sure you were. It wasn't. Her mom was. Would you like to hang out with me after work? I have a present for mm -hmm. you. Really? <laughs> In that case, I'd love to. But I need to go to the Larners first. Phil needs some supplies. Come with me. Uh, -uh. uh It's probably a bad idea. I don't think Phil likes me very much, but it's kind of a mutual, to be honest. Yeah, I noticed. I'll call you later, okay? Awesome. Have a super duper amazing day. Well, that was nice. Aww. I think he still could, if he's trying to like, you know, date her, right? She's friends with Phil. They don't like each other. You know, at least make an effort though to try. He didn't say anything mean to, about it. He just said they don't like each other, but you know, try to make a little bit of effort to bridge that gap. I don't know, my opinion. That was nice though. Brian doesn't seem like a bad guy. Ooh, is it me controlling it? Can I go this way? Brian's. I look forward to celebrating with you this evening, Brian. You really know how to cheer me up. Wintry Sleepy Hollow. Ooh, mailbox? 
Did I just look into their mailbox? Yay. Support. Oh, yeah. Dude, they always do this. Support your indie devs. Yeah, do that. Support your indie devs. Find the mysterious ad. Yeah, it's always... they. It's been in every one of their games that I've seen so far. And you should always support your indie devs. Father Adams, good morning, Noel. I'm so glad to see you. Good morning, Father Adams. On your way to work? Yeah, winters are crazy busy. So many home deliveries. I can imagine. Your mother's very lucky to have you. The Lord and I, on the other hand, have very little work these days. In this cold wave, people don't feel like leaving their houses. Hmm. It does look like a ghost town, doesn't it? Do you think I could convince you to come to Mass this Sunday? I'd be very happy to preach for someone besides the stone walls. You have a wood church. No stone. Uh, I'm not particularly religious. Oh, that's fine. My mentor used to say you don't need to believe in zombies to enjoy a horror movie. <laughs> my sermons are quite fun, I promise. Please, please come to my church. I'll think about it. Oh, and bring your friend Phil, too. I haven't seen him on the basketball court for weeks. Yeah, he's having a rough time. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll stop by the Larners one of these days to say hello. Well, I won't keep you any longer, Noel. It was lovely to see you. Say hello to your mother. Dude, he still looks just like the guy from the plant uh, game of theirs. I think he is. There's a conspiracy. Back to the mines. Are we selling Koopa's cherry juice again? Good news. Apples. Yeah. Oops, we have a guest. Mom's gonna go crazy. Cash register. Today is payday. Did you just steal money? Thanks for the awesome gift, Mom. I'm so excited to go to Anime Con this year. I wish I had someone to go with. You have two tickets now. Maybe Phil will break his lockdown to go with you. I don't think he can choose to, when to feel ill or not, Mom. Well, what about that boy, Brian? Since you spend a lot of time together. Would you let me go with a boy you barely know? You're, you'd be okay with me traveling to the other side of the country with a boy you barely know. Of course I know, Brian. I've been friends with his parents since before you were born. Besides, I trust you. That's enough for me. You're growing up, Mom. Okay, I might ask him. Hey, Mom. Hmm? About Phil. His parents canceled his bank account and he can't mm -hmm. order food. Stop right there. The answer is no. We don't do loans. But, Mom... Phil has a family who takes care of him. He's not a responsibility. We give free food to Miss Potter uh, every month. Is she our responsibility? She has no one. It's not the same. Phil's parents don't care about him. Those parents only want to keep up appearances. They don't care about his mental health. Please, Mom, he needs our help. That's enough. I'm not going to be the villain in this movie. Bring him whatever you want, but it'll come out of your pocket. Okay, I guess that's fair. And now go change. We have work to do. Noel, Wednesday, 5.05 p.m. <clears throat> hey, puppy. Oh, can I click on that? Help us save Sparkle. Our kitten was attacked by two crows on Main Street. Oh, no. We don't have enough to pay for vet expenses. We need your help. Donate now. Oh, that's sad. I'm sorry, was that what the crows were attacking when we saw at the beginning? I don't even want to know. Hey, Peppa. Got it. One more for my paperweight collection. To Phil's house. Okay, let's be careful. I don't want the Larners to catch me bringing stuff to Phil. I'll leave the bags under his window. I should let him know the bags are here or the bottles will explode in the cold. You could... Oh, did I throw the rocket? You could, uh, text him. Don't lose your paperweight. Ah, uh, how dare you. Aw. Aww. 
You're the best. I don't know what I'd do without you. Don't thank me. You owe me $74. $74? Jesus. Oh, I added a complimentary chocolate bar. That's nice. To celebrate my birthday. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot. Why Sorry. are you so sweaty, Phil? It's hard to keep track of the calendar in here. Happy birthday. Don't sweat it. But he's sweating. You owe me 74 and a nice gift. Promise. By the way, make sure to close your waste containers tightly. Your garden smells horrible. Yikes, sorry. Are you dropping your poop down there? I guess your pee. I'll be more careful next time. I'm out of here. My ass is freezing. Enjoy the chocolate bar. Cool. Whew, thank goodness. One more day without food and I'd start looking like one-eyed willy. Okay, time to refill the pantry. One-eyed willy. Is that from the Goonies? Is One-Eyed Willie from the Goonies? Isn't he just a skeleton? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? Am I mistaking One-Eyed Willie for the Goonies? Close it in the closet. 74 bucks, though. That's pretty good. Ew, poop bucket. In with your food. Disgusting. This looks bad. I'm sorry. Are you saying $74 for seven water bottles, four cups of tomato soup, four ramen and four canned meat this is like well what i'm thinking four of these probably like what be like five bucks dude each of these probably five bucks each if that this is like 20 bucks worth of food at max as for you eat the candy bar ah hazelnuts my favorite Oh no. Philip? Are you there, my dear? Oh no. You have a visitor. It's Father Adams. Hello, Phil. I hope you're doing well. Your mom says you're feeling a bit down lately. Is there anything I can do to help? You can talk to me, okay? There's nothing to be ashamed of. The Lord tests our resilience by putting challenges in front of us. I pray for you, my son. And please, don't forget your parents are suffering too. Be compassionate with them. Thank you, Father. I appreciate you coming here. I'm sorry I couldn't be of much more help. Oh, you absolutely were for me. Would you like some tea, Father? That'd be lovely. Thank you. I'll have the chance to admire that impressive hunting trophy of you in your dining room. It's from three years ago. Jacob's very proud of it. So I get, I get he's having a panic attack, right? Like, clearly he's having a panic attack. But like, I don't know. I've had panic attacks and they are the fucking worst. Like you literally feel like you're dying. Like your heart's going to explode or something. And um, like you're, <laughs> you honestly just feel like you're dying. It doesn't make sense. Um, but like a panic attack about someone coming to your door. See, that's the thing. I'm not afraid of that. So I can't like. I can't relate to that exactly, but... I mean, panic attacks suck. I don't know. I don't even know what my point is here, other than saying, like... It's weird. And they suck. So I get it. Fuck this town. Is it music again? No. Phil, you are my biggest disappointment. I'll get your ass out of this room, dead or alive, you hear me? So I get that's like, yeah, I get it's like a nightmare, right? If I was like, okay, I get, yeah, that's supposed to be his dad. He's scared of it. Um, that's why. But in my mind, just like something creepy would be like the scariest thing. But to him... His dad's the scariest, right? So that's why he had, like, the hunting cap and the rifle and stuff and talking about disappointment. But, yeah. To me, that wouldn't be scary. 
I mean, it would still be creepy as shit, but like, I don't know. Oh, you got dire. You got food poison? Oh, shit, my stomach. Did Noel poison you? With the candy bar? Oh. Oh. What's it? oh, it's your tongue. I was like, what's that right? Oh, gross. Oh, this is no good. No good at all. Oh. oh my god, I'm dying. I barely ate yesterday. Why am I so sick? Maybe I could find an online doctor? It hurts a lot. Oh. oh. Shit. Oh. oh. Fuck. Maybe if I wait a little longer, I'll feel better. <sighs> oh, maybe not. It's very late, but I should probably ask for help. Uh, no, Piper, right? She's right here. Yeah. Piper? Piper, are you awake? I need your help. Oh, gosh, it hurts. It has Noel? Are you awake? I'm very sick. My stomach hurts like hell and I can't stop throwing up. What should I do? I have no meds here. Oh, I can't stand it anymore. You gonna leave? I have to do it. I have to go out. Everyone's sleeping now. I could go down to the bathroom and get something for the pain without being noticed. Look at you. Wait. Alright, I'm going out. This is a good step, right? Oh. Oh, come on, Phil. You can do it. Oh, you can't click on the door handle. You gotta click on the door. Hey, that's a good step. He's going out, right? Even though it's because it's it hurts, but this could help you bridge that gap. To be like, okay, I did it once. That means it nothing bad happened. I could do it again. I can do it. I just need to go downstairs, pick up the meds, and come back. Quick and quiet. Beat it. Ooh, Piper. Let's go see if we can get him Piper. Nothing. She always sleeps with her headphones on. Ooh, that would suck. I've had to do that before because I couldn't. I can't sleep without noise, so I've had to like use like headphones and Ugh. stuff before. Oh god, I clicked. I clicked too fast. I don't know what he said, but I'm pretty sure he just threw up in his mouth and onto his hand. One of those like, and then it squirts out the fingers. Ugh. Father's office. No, we need. We store the meds in the bathroom. Okay. Okay. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Rose, could I please have a glass of water too? Look how big that fucking deer is. That's a massive deer, right? Like, because that's on the other side of the room. Deer aren't that big. I mean, maybe some are. I see... I, fucking see deer every goddamn day out in my yard but uh they're not that big it's your thing that's like a horse sized deer what is that maybe like a tree whew that was close Okay, let's keep going. Get the meds. Get the meds. The pain is killing me. I need to find something for my stomach. There has to be something here for the pain. I don't like the shower curtain closed. Let's see. Cough syrup, cream, cream pot, cream tube, eye drops, pills and pills. Painkillers, yes, this may work. Hell yeah. I feel like painkillers wouldn't work for what you're going through. I feel like you need stomach stuff, not pain stuff. Ugh. I should go back to my room before someone finds me. Okay, be careful. Congratulations, you completed your first 100 steps this month. Welcome back to a healthy, active life. Shh, shut up. Delete the app. If you're not walking, delete the goddamn app. 
God. Fuck, I hope no one heard it. Okay, come on, Phil, let's try this again. Yeah, delete the fucking app, dude. <gasps> oh. Philip, he finally left your room. I knew you'd make it, son. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> let's celebrate. Like a family. Dream? <gasps> Nightmare? Yep, yep. Phil. Indeterminate day, 11.15 a.m. Oh. Shit, shit, shit. Will these fucking nightmares ever stop? At least the stomach ache was part of the dream. I don't think my heart can take this much longer. Perhaps these night terrors are a symptom of my reclusive life. Probably. Anyway, I have another exciting day ahead. Let's leave him alone, Jacob. I don't think he knows anything about Piper. He's a Larner. If that devil girl runs away from home, it's his duty to help us find her. This time, she emptied her closet, though. What if she's gone for good? If that's the case, good riddance. She can look for family. She can look for the family she deserves in hell. Dig. She broke her boyfriend's arm two days ago, and now this? Poor Jake, she just pushed him, and he had a bad fall. I'm so ashamed. His parents must think we raised a savage. And if we didn't have enough with her, this lazy son of yours. Ugh, what a waste of time. Why even bother? He's probably sleeping or playing video games. The only thing he's interested in. Fuck. Come on, Piper, don't lose your mind now. Are you there? I heard my parents talking. Piper way ran away from home. She took all her things. I don't think she's coming back. Jesus. Dude, send all of this in one message. Don't be a double, triple, quadruple texter. I don't like that. I don't like when people text me when it should just all just be in one message. I'm worried. What? I like this color of nail polish. That's nice. Oh, no. Hey, don't worry, okay? She'll be back as soon as she runs out of money. This time I have a bad feeling. You know that Piper can be a bit unpredictable. Maybe she's with that boyfriend of hers? I don't think so. They had a small fight. There were some broken bones. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, she's having a rough time. Her world's crumbling down and I'm not there for her. Maybe she needs someone to talk to. A professional? Come on, it's my fucking family we're talking about. Who needs a shrink when we have the church? <sighs> I'll keep my ears open, okay? I'll tell you if I hear anything. Something wrong, honey? Phil's sister Piper, she ran away from home. Again? Didn't she leave last month too? I feel for the Larners. They must be going through a lot with those two kids. Uh, phone's ringing non-stop today. What's up, neighbor? Hey, Brian. My fridge is worryingly low on beer. I'm getting some six-packs before I suffer my stepfather's wrath. You know where they are. Hey, thank you for spending time with me yesterday. It was fun. What you think about the anime con thing? Will you come with me? Well, I'm a bit freaked out by being surrounded by geeks like you, but how could I refuse? Of course I'll go. Awesome, we'll have a great time. Uh, one of us, one of us. Did you get the reference? No, what? Oh, by the way, how high is your tolerance for cringe? Uh, mid to low. Enough to wear a Yuru Nayan costume at the convention? I can't show off my Jiu and Go. Jiu. Jiu and Go and. Ju and Nico cosplay without Euronian by my side. I didn't understand a word you said, but okay, I guess. Whatever makes you happy. Brilliant. Not that it was negotiable. 
Good morning, Miss Hayashi. Hello, Brian. No, we need to talk. Please come to the office. Sure, Mom. Something wrong? I'll wait for you inside. Nice to see you, Brian. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Reprimand is coming. Did you put the soda on the wrong shelf? You idiot. I'll be right back. What's wrong, Mom? Please sit down. You getting fired? It was Faith on the phone, your father's girlfriend. Oh? He's been feeling unwell these past few weeks, so he went for a checkup. They found a tumor in his lung. He got the test results today, and... Mom? I'm so sorry, honey. Faith said it's very widespread. He doesn't have much time left. Damn. No, this can't be happening. Shit. That's a bummer. Where the hell are you, Noel? Been silent for hours. Come on, I need to talk to you. Dude, you need a shout. Now that I'm just thinking, I don't think I've said it at all, but now like just thinking, he's been in here for a month and he hasn't showered. Maybe he bought like the wipes, like the clean wipes, and he's just giving himself like a wipe down with like the moist towelette things. But, like, ew. That's bad for you. You can get, like, like a staph infection or something from that. Come on. I need to talk to you. Right? Can't you? I think so. Is it nighttime still? I couldn't tell. Hey. I'm sorry I didn't log in earlier. I got terrible news. I'm trying to process it. What happened? It's my father. He's very ill. Terminally ill. <laughs> oh, God. I'm so sorry, Noel. Tomorrow I'll be flying to Chicago. I need to be by his side. Sure, I understand. When are you coming back? I don't know. I want to be with him throughout the process. May be a few months. <gasps> as much time as he has left. I just want you to know. Months? No, 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 I'll wait. I'll take my next semester online. And Brian will replace me at the shop. What? I'm sure he'll lend you a hand in whatever way he can. Brian, no, that idiot will leave me to starve. Oh God, Phil, you're gonna, you're gonna fuck everything up by being. I know you're going through a panic attack. You're freaking out, but like, oh, use your goddamn brain. Please, you can't leave. I need you here with me. Stop, Phil. Stop. But I can't keep going without you. You're the only person who cares about me here. What the fuck is all this, Phil? My father's dying. <laughs> No, I can't lose you. Ugh, God, I hate this. What am I supposed to do? Fuck you, Phil. I love you, but you're being a selfish asshole. Yeah. Please, Noel. If you leave, I'll do something crazy, I swear. No. No. Oh. Yeah, no, no. This can't be happening. The only thing that keeps me going. Oh. Please stay. I promise I'll do better. To be the person you want me to be. Fuck. breakdown right now what the hell Phil emotional blackmail seriously yeah don't you ever say that shit again damn this can't be happening oh. nothing will change I promise we'll keep texting each other like we do now Phil Phil, 
remember. The Piper, right? Oh, that was like the, the picture puzzle we did. Oh my god. Don't you dare leave me like this. You're scaring me. Please answer. That's not good. That's that is not 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 good. Still don't remember, do you? What? It's us, the shadows. Boop. Small mouth, larger mouth, big mouth. Remember. Remember, remember the 5th of November. Sorry, I don't know. You guys like V for Vendetta? Good movie. You should check it out. Haven't seen it in a while. I just want to sit on this. I just want to sit on this thing. Hey, you okay? <laughs> it's so unfair. As if I didn't have enough with dad dying. Now Phil's acting like an asshole. I told him I'm leaving and he went nuts. He's really upset. I'm afraid he might do something stupid. Don't say that. I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> Moving to Chicago is the right decision. You hear me? You deserve to enjoy some time with your father while you can. It's true. Don't let Phil or anyone else ruin this for you. I don't know why. I keep looking at the light instead of the camera, and it's messing with me. And I'm doing that. I don't know what's going on. I know, but I'm his only friend. I'm afraid he may have a mental breakdown without my help. Okay, listen. If you really think he might hurt himself, let's call his parents. We need to warn them. Good idea. Now they'll force him out. I don't want to alarm them unnecessarily. You know him better than anyone. If you think he's in danger, it's worth the risk. I guess you're right. I'm gonna call them. No answer. They might be out looking for Piper. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go to his place. I need to make sure he's alright. Fine, but I'm going with you. It's late. Ah, oh, hell yeah. That's a good idea. Don't go alone. I'm glad they're going together. Oh, God, I forgot. Oh, this sucks. Oh. Oh. Phil? Remember now? Remember what? What happened? Yeesh. We found her at the bus station, sleeping on a bench. She was waiting for the night bus to Los Angeles. Los Angeles? What the hell were you thinking, you stupid fool? Oh. Jesus Christ, Piper. Well, my work here's done. I'll ask the station to close the incident. And Jacob, don't be too hard to on her. My Diane's the same age, and well, what can I tell you? Puberty destroys their little brains. Thanks, Gabe. I appreciate all you done. Should I bring Piper some soup? She might be starving. No, it's gone too far. 
We're gonna have dinner like a family for once. Go and drag your sister down here. I want her sitting in this chair now. You heard your father. <sighs> but I don't wanna. Piper. Father's office. Couldn't look in there before. Every evening, father locks himself in his office and cleans his hunting weapons. I wish he cared as much about us. Wish I could go to bed and skip dinner. Piper. me open the door I think father will call an army if you don't come down right now Piper okay I'm coming in Where the hell are you now you didn't turn on the light first can't see in the dark Is that it okay Piper, what are you doing? Oh shit! Hey! Oh no! Oh no! <gasps> Everyone's dead. That's why the shadow parents have holes in their forehead. And the Piper shadow has a hole in the mouth. That's why she was ble bleeding out of the mouth. The teeth were gone. That's why the the deer had blood coming off of it. Because it was in the... Oh. Whoa. But didn't the priest come over? Didn't the priest come over? Didn't the priest come over? I'll give him one last chance. Chuck it. Chuck. Dude, she's got a fantastic aim. Nothing. I don't ring the doorbell like normal people. Something moving around there. A rat? Probably like a raccoon. It smells like death. Oh, that's probably where the bodies are. Well, maybe not. Brazilian plants still alive in the cold. Mr. and Ms. Larner? Oh, God, Mom. What if they found Phil dead? And sent him to the morgue? Or maybe they went out and Phil's in there all alone, dying. We have to go in. Honey, we just can't break into a house. I know something's wrong, Mom. I really do. They must have a spare key hidden somewhere. <sighs> oh, we're gonna end up in jail. Uh, it could be a good hiding place for a key. That's cute. Looks like the head can be detached somehow. Fuck it. No time for this. Hell yeah. Noel. I love how the mom just is like, God damn it. Hey, got it. Alright, in we go. It's locked tight. We'll use the key. You better stay out. Uh, just in case someone comes. If you see someone coming, shout. Do you do this often? Yeah, Mom, I'm a... I steal a lot. I break into people's houses and I steal a lot. Phil. Sorry, Phil? Oh, what's that smell? Oh, everyone's dead. Where the hell's the light switch? It's right here. the mirror right there. Oh, 
Oh, that's the hole. Oh, and the mirror broke. Oh, that's crazy. I don't think they're going to be able to get in. He's got the door latched. Oh, we're actually going to see it. Piper, what are you doing? Hey. Another blackout, really? Rose, where's the flashlight? Oh, just what he said before. <gasps> Piper, but what? Piper, no. no. My God, what have you done? <gasps> Darling? Tell me nobody's been here in a month. Do you remember? The shadows keep asking me over and over. My nightmares are taking shape and I'm afraid they hide a horrible truth. Stand up. It's not possible. I have to go out downstairs, look for answers, leave the room. Oh. <sighs> Father? Mother, Piper. My mind remains a blur. Many images pile up in a disjointed mess. But deep inside, I know something terrible happened in this house. Can I actually look around in Piper's room? I need to go downstairs. Nope. I got to go downstairs. Are those like police lights down there? Is anyone home? <gasps> Phil, what the fuck have you done? I? How could you? You're a monster. No, I. Father. Mother? Oh no, Piper. Clearly, this is old. Stay away from me. I, I didn't. This can't be happening. I started remembering. You don't understand. I remember now. It wasn't me. It was... But I don't understand. I've been talking to you all this time. I heard your voices. Oh, you have to help me. Please. Oh, no. I saw it, Noel. I saw Piper falling into the abyss, and I, I should have done more. <sighs> Phil? Oh, what's going? Oh my god. Mom, call the police quick. Fuck. boy has a lot to explain. Everything points to the girl 
murdering her parents. Then she turned the weapon on herself and... What carnage. I can't remember a case like this since the Johnstons. That was 15 years ago. See the boy's room? What a mess. Who knows how long he's been locked up there. I would say a month. Poor kid. I guess he snapped after witnessing the horror. I don't blame him. Come on, let's finish cordoning off the area. It's starting to get crowded here. Sorry you had to see that, honey. Uh, do you think you could come with me to the station? We need your statement. Of course, whatever you need. Uh, Sheriff, will he be okay? Doctor says he's in shock and dehydrated, but he'll recover. Don't worry about him, he'll be fine. How could I be so blind all this time? Don't blame yourself, it's not worth it. No one knows what people are going through. We each suffer our own hell in silence. back. And that concludes tonight's episode. Poor Phil. He has a long road ahead to recover the light of his existence. The safe place he was hiding in turned out to be just a figment of his imagination. But on the other hand, isn't it for everyone? Make sure to shut the doors and windows tightly. Take a look inside your closet and under your bed before going to sleep. You never know what kind of horrors are lurking in the dark. We'll see you soon in the next episode of Midnight Scenes. Ah, oh, so good. Dude, I would love for them <clears throat> to make like an anthology series of these. Like this, you could sell all these as like, you know, 35 minute, 40 minute episodes. Like, make a show on all of these. Ah, oh, it's so good. It is so good. This was so goddamn depressing, though. Um, yeah. I liked it, though. Great stuff. Fantastic. Sorry, it did. I mean, it took... We These always do take a wrong turn. I mean, like, with the kids and the first one that I played, the nanny, and then um, the second one with the tree thing going on um yeah this one was good though great twist and as you like like it didn't hit me i knew there was something going on but it didn't hit me until they showed her with the gun and then i put together the holes and her mouth being open and everything like that it was it was good i like that a lot definitely dark but uh really fantastic and yeah, I highly recommend you check out all of the Midnight Scenes games. They are so awesome and so great. And I cannot recommend them enough. They're just so good. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>